welcome back. I've got another haul video. I was at Sephora last weekend and I needed to pick up a couple of things. The first thing I needed was a refill on my cleansing gel from Juice Beauty. I've been using it for quite some time now actually. I picked up two of their sample sets and went through both of them but the cleanser in the sample set is actually full size so I finally finished um, the last of that and so I needed to get some more. I also picked up a little powder puff just to set my um, powder with. <laughs> um, obviously I've used it already which is why it's dirty but yeah it's really soft I really like it although I do need to clean it tonight. And then the other thing that I was actually kind of excited about, but definitely let down, was the Sephora brand Lavender Blot Paper. I actually have, uh, I think they're called Matte Blot Papers, um, also Sephora brand, and I love them. They're great. And I wanted to try these ones because there's twice as many and they're $3 less. Now, the texture of the blot paper of these is different, but it's not that that actually bothers me. It's the fact that the scent of the lavender is so strong. I think you could probably put this in your underwear drawer for, I don't know, 500 years and it would still hurt your eyes when you took it out 500 years later. So I'm going to probably exchange these for something else because I don't think I'll be able to use it. I can just envision it aggravating allergies and all that bad stuff that I really don't want to get involved with. But, on a happier note, I decided to take the advice of Pinky Charm, aka Miss Irene, and I got the Stila Lip Glaze Holiday Collection. It's eight lip glazes, and I've used one so far in Kitten and I really like it. Um, not a huge fan of the whole screw bottom applicator packaging, whatever you want to call it, um, but I really like the actual product inside. It is um, thicker than what I'm used to, but it lasts pretty well for a gloss and it's not sticky. I mean, it, it's slightly tacky, this is why it lasts so long, but I'm not a huge fan of really sticky glosses and this does not fall into the category of really sticky glosses. So I'm really excited to try those out. I also um, went on some advice and this time it comes from Cindy who has a channel at DR Brooklyn 370 and this is the HD um, concealer from Makeup Forever. I picked it up in 345, which is actually a really good match for my HD foundation in 153. I've used it a couple of times, and it's actually kind of cool. It has this sort of rubber tip, and the first time I used it, it was great. Um, the second time, I found it was a little bit chunky, especially as the day wore on, which was not fun, but I'm almost wondering if because it was the second time using it, if some of the found foundation concealer got, um, you know, stuck in here and dried out. And then, you know, when I went to use it again, um, it wasn't the same consistency as the first time. Because the third time I used it, it was fine. So I'm hoping that I can figure out some way to balance that out and not have to waste too much product. And then, yeah, I've got one more thing that I picked up. I actually wasn't planning on getting this. I didn't even think that I'd find it. So when I saw it, I had, you know, a little bit of a squeal in my mind. But I found the by Lauren Luke uh, My Vintage Glams. And the one with the rose, absolutely gorgeous artwork. And then when you flip it open, you've got two eyeshadow bases, a large eyeshadow, a blush, two lip colors, two more eyeshadows, and a cream liner. I actually did a look using this palette 
you can check for that um, on my blog. I'll leave a link for that in the sidebar. And this was actually packaged with the palette. This is um, just a sort of slightly tinted uh, lip gloss. It's called My Glossy Lips. It doesn't have a name or anything like that in terms of color or flavor. But it smells so good. It smells like peaches or like a peach tea, peach iced tea. I don't know. It's amazing. I love this gloss. It's been in my purse since I tried it and it's amazing. Love this. Um, but that's everything that I got. Didn't go too crazy. But I did want to say one thing first, and that is a shout out and thank you to my boyfriend who went to not one, but two separate Sephora's with me and was extremely patient and also extremely generous because he bought everything for me, which is awesome. And yeah, so thank you. And that's pretty much it guys. So if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment. No. Comment. Yeah. Comments are down here. <laughs> you can leave me a comment or you can send me a message and um, I'll get back to you and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I have one more thing that I wanted to say and this is for Miss Ev. She was asking about Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in Plum and I'm actually wearing it right now. I have it on with Max Lush and Lilac Cream Stick um, liner, but I didn't put anything over top of it, so it kind of has that matte satinish finish. But this is what it looks like on me. Really deep. Um, it's not dark per se, but the pigmentation is pretty heavy and it comes out darker than you think it would. But yeah, just thought I'd show that to you and yeah, talk to you later. Bye.